You ready? Yeah. Uh, what are we gonna find? Uh, hopefully some snakes, because I haven't been perfect in a long time. Yeah? Uh, been... Look, we already found that. You think we'll find the person that was attached to that? This is a good sign. Uh, high heel with nobody to be seen. All right, so we're walking to the first spot. Got my two cousins with me. And we're gonna go check out and see if we can find some snakes. That actually got me for a second. <laughs> All right, so I didn't have time to actually do the uh, live shot of finding them, but we have flipped a bunch of boards and nothing. And then we came to these rocks and we started flipping these. And I flipped this rock and he was curled up right there. But we got us a little California striped racer. All right, so this is the California Striped Racer. It's a very, very fast snake, diurnal snake, meaning it comes out during the day. Um, we're here about nine o'clock in the morning right now and found him underneath that rock that I just showed in the previous clip. Um, he was all curled up, so he was kind of sleeping. Um, it's a little cooler. It's on the cooler side, probably about 60. Um, but this is a very, very fast snake. They usually are very aggressive too when handled. Usually they'll bite, strike repeatedly. A lot of times they'll actually aim for your eyes. So I'm kind of watching him right now He's kind of bulking up his head, getting his head a little bigger. He's trying to figure out what I'm doing. Um, so he might take a take a little nip at me. But these guys generally are anywhere between three and four feet in length. That's the adult size. They can get bigger. They can get closer to five foot in length. So yeah, this guy, he is, like I said, a diurnal predator. Comes out during the day. We'll hunt lizards. We'll hunt rodents, birds, possibly smaller snakes. A lot of the lizards that are fast out here aren't going to be able to escape this guy because he can actually run them down. A lot of times you're hiking and you'll see them run across the trail right in front of you. And you can't, you can't get them because as soon as you see them, they're gone. So the best way to get them is either under a board or under a rock sleeping, which we got lucky to do. These California racers are, uh, California striped racers are pretty common. Uh, they're actually one of the more common species. I actually have terrible luck with them. I've seen a few of them, but um, I don't know, they've, They've kind of been my ghost snake, if you will. Most people will find them all the time. I don't see them that often. I um, actually saw one really big one last year and ended up getting away. That's usually the tail, right? The base one got away. And they can be found in a whole range of habitats. Uh, rocky, grassy, chaparral, scrub. They're very pretty on the underside. Hopefully it won't bite me. Kind of see, he got a nice yellow coloration and then even towards the end he's got some of like the pink or red coloration. So very, very cool. Realizes I'm not gonna do him any harm. And I'm holding him tight, but not too tight. He's able to move if he wants to move. But we'll let this guy go back to his spot and hopefully we'll find some more snakes. All right, Caden's gonna release the little striped racer and go on his way. Oh, it's uh...